So, today's topic is the, the seminars, and I call it the 100 Bunkai Challenge. The reason for that is obvious. Um, in my personal opinion, the Kata Ataki 1 and the Kata Ataki 2 is, let's say, almost all you need. Okay? So, having multiple Bunkais for simple moves that just do this, and this gives you numerous uh, opportunities and possibilities to react. And uh, so, in my opinion, the kata is not just this is a block, this is a punch. So today I'm going to show about 25, 25 bunkais. When we start the kata, in the style that I train in the rookie camp, we start like this. And then we go here and we go there. Okay? So basically to show that from the front, it's this, 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 and this, what we are talking about. Okay? So when you look at the kata, in, uh, in karate in various styles like Taki one or similar kata are always called like the beginning katas. So, and people say it's about movement patterns and teaching people something. I think um, when you start, you should get some basic and also some basic self-defense. So, just look at this move for a second. Okay? This can be this. This can also be this with the open hand. Don't think about the hand position by far. Okay? So the first thing, what it can be, is when he pushes or punches, it's this, okay? So I show it from the other side, with a fist, or with an open hand, okay? This is more kind of the, of this move, okay? So to the other side, it's this, okay? Here, it's this. So it's followed by that. Okay? So you do this, you do this. So if he comes, it's followed by that. You can hit him here, or if he comes here, you can hit him here. Okay? Um, the, same pro uh, the same move can also be applied to the head. So I can also go here, hit him in the head, or I can go here, hit him in the, on the nose or wherever. Okay? Just that. So let's say I'm on the inside. Okay? So I'm here, I hit him, maybe not the best place to be, so I do the exact same, same move again. So I'm here, I grab, bring there. Okay? So you see the movement pattern from the kata. Applied to the same thing. Now followed by a hit, followed by a step. Okay? We are talking about the hit, uh, the hit and the step in, uh, in just a second. Okay? So if he comes and I'm on the outside, well, I can go here, bring him there, and hit him. Okay? Now, so from the counter. It's the shoulder. It's this. Okay? In the in the kata you make a step, a step forward. So it's not like as you have seen, it's not like this. Okay? It's because you do a step forward and you hit. Okay? In some karate forms. When you come from here and you do your punch, you open the hand and pull back. What can be grabbing action? Okay? So you do this, you hit him here, you make a grabbing action, and you make a punch. Okay? Punch to the other side. Or you stay here, you grab the arm and make a punch to the other side. Okay? Then you land here. So again, he's here, you hit him, you grab. Or you grab and 
thing in common that you have this move. Okay? So if I go here on the back and I go here on my left and I tap them, I can throw the head or grab also grab also the head and do something with it. Okay, so then it's more like a grappling to do. But at first I want to stay with the um, with the hitting techniques, then I show some grappling techniques, I show some uh, tuity or uh, finger or joint manipulation techniques, uh, I show some takedowns, it's always the same move. So at the beginning we start with hitting, then we went over to grappling, so more like takedowns and manipulation with the head, to tuity, and if we have time we do something else. Okay? So, again, because here, and this is like a general entry, and when you think of beginners, what is a simple block you can teach to a beginner, okay? The simple block that you can teach is this, okay? If you do this or this, doesn't make much of a difference, okay? So you do this, you grab, you hit, you hit, okay? When you are on the inside, you block, you can block with the fist or with the open hand, you grab, you reverse, you do the, your technique the second time. This is this, the gear on the right, bring them here, and you are in the same position like before, okay? Talking a little bit, so I'll give you two entries when you end on the inside or when you end on the outside with hitting techniques. If you, let's talk about the legs a little bit. Every time you make a step, and I, I know you don't see my foot right now, but you see my knee. Knee goes first, okay? Then you do like a kick to the front and you land. So every step forward that you do can also be a knee technique or a kicking technique. Okay? So when it comes here on the outside, I hit him, I do, this, I do the next step to him. So if I step here, I have my knee first. So I knee him, then, then I have a kicking technique. If I don't get the knee, I can get the other leg to kick. Okay, so also a possibility to adjust it. If I'm on the inside and I do the step, I can do the same thing. Now I can follow up with, with hips and stuff. So in the scene, it's all this and this, okay? The backward movement, in my opinion, has nothing to do with I pull back fast to hit stronger, okay? If you're able to hit strong, you don't need that. And to hit strong, you don't hit strong using your center to, of rotation. Okay, you hit strong if you rotate over the outside lines. But that's another topic for maybe another seminar if you're interested. Or if you have questions um, for um, the Zoom class, okay, then I go after that. So again, very slow because this is this, okay, boom. So we have our get up right here. Okay? Boom. Now I can grab and hit. And I can make my kick, of course. Okay? Push. You do this. And you do this. So to show that you see my, my, my legs, you do this. And then you have the knee. And you have the hit. So again, you are here. You hit. You knee him. You punch him. The Fist is not the only weapon that you can use to attack someone, okay? You also can take the inside of your arm, so when I hit forward, my elbow or the inside of my elbow can also hit. So if I'm here, I hit him, I kick him, and he's too, too close to me, I can also use my the inside of the arm to to, 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 to hit him and for to bring him down. 
Okay? And now the possibility to work with. So what we do now is we have a one-two technique. Okay? One, two. You also can see this move as a one technique. What I mean is if he comes, he can come here and he can, can hit him there at the same time. Okay? So then you have this move, he comes here, boom, I hit him, and I do the same thing. On the inside, the same. I block him here, so I block him here, and I hit him here at the same time to go here. So this hitting at the same time gives a little bit of interruption. Okay? If you look at this this way, it's also like a boxing drill that you can that you can train. Okay, this is also an uppercut. If I come here, I hit him, and I go here, I'm right, right into this technique again. So the get up or right can also be a very nice uppercut. Okay, so no matter if I hit him here, if I hit him here, if I hit him here, okay, so you have the uppercut opportunity also. So in this way, it's really like you block, hit, block, hit. So it doesn't look that a little bit like boxing if you do tap heel with two. Okay? You have this move. Okay? You do this, you do this. Okay? This and this. So you have this and you have this. Okay? So you can make like sparring drill techniques out of tap heel one and tap heel with two moves. Okay? Again, slow. Inside, boom, do to get up and run again, go to the outside, kick the leg, hit the head, grab him, and then you make your turn. What is that for? Grab him, and you make your turn and bring him to this side. Okay? We do that in a minute. So, this is like basic hitting techniques. And of course, you can hit all kinds of targets. You can hit the head, you can hit the arm, you can hit the body, you can hit pressure points. If you Use them. If you don't use them, just hit the body or the head or whatever you want to hit. Okay? I like to see more like a practical thing. And remember, guys, um, talk to the one is like the white belt kata. So, wouldn't it be cool to give your white belts some application that they can use? Okay? So, just something to think about. Okay? So, from here, we go on to some takedowns that we can do. Okay? So, first takedown that we can do, and I showed that already, is here on the outside, I hit him, so we are here. Okay? You go here, you go here. You grab and turn. Okay? So we are here, see him, I grab. If he has hair, I can grab the hair. If he has ears, I can grab the ears. Okay, if he doesn't have anything, whatever, I just grab the hat. Of course, I go to the other side, followed by the punch. So, I can also do this. Okay, boom, boom, and bring it down to here. Okay? If I'm on the inside, I can go to the outside and do exactly the same thing like before. Okay, so it's like an entry draw. This is your entry that you can work, and from here you go to the takedowns, or this is your entry that you can work, from here you go to the takedown, or this is your entry that you work, you change to the outside and do your takedown from here. Okay? And you see it's also a get up a right technique, what I did right there. Okay? So again, he's here, I'm on the outside. I change, I hit him, I make my turn, what I have in the kata also, and I bring him down. Okay? Also a possibility to do. Keep in mind, if someone has hair, much better. Okay? Just a quick side note to how to grab the head to manipulate it the best way. Um, most people grab here, okay? And then try to manipulate the head. Go to the opposite side, okay? You have, if I touch here, and if I touch there, 
here's the spine. This is the biggest lever that I, that I can use to manipulate. If I grab here, I just have, I don't know if you see that on camera, you just have this lever. If I grab here, you have the whole diagonal that you can use to rotate the running down. So, this is one takedown, okay? I mean, you can do many of them, okay? So even if he holds me, yeah, and you have this, and this, you can go here and do the same thing the first and go from there. So in this way, I did two get up rise after one after another. So it comes here, and I'm just showing some application. Here is a hit. Okay, I did my get up rise. Here is a hit, bam. And now this is the pullback from the hand. And this is okay when you go to the other side. So you see another possibility of doing takedowns, and there are many, many more, but we are running out of time. So I want to go and show some uh, locking techniques also. This moves, okay? One is here if you don't just want to go and switch sides. You can go here right behind the joint and do this, okay? It's, now you have a snapping technique right here and you can go over there. If you are on the outside, you can hit him, you go into uh, on the other hand, this other hand. Okay? You hit him, you go into uh, into an armor to go from there. Okay? So you are here, armor followed by follow-ups. And I leave the steps out because of the room, obviously. Normally you can go here, you can hit him, you can punch him, grab him, you will take down and go from there, okay? But you cannot show more guys, it's just a little thing. Another possibility, when he pushes, okay, is also this, okay? So he pushes, I go here and I grab. I grab the hand, okay, and do a wrist lock and bring it down.